Welcome Leo to your horoscope for 2020 um, for the month of July. So we do have an lunar eclipse on the 5th of the month um, which will be in your 6th house. So it can indicate there's going to be um, some health issues or you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed about um, you know, where you're going and about your stability as well or even about with your mind. We've also got Venus in your um, 10th house, going, so that can indicate a good month for career um, coming in. We've also got Mars in your 8th, which again money, so you might find that um, you know money, like, you, know, you might get a bit argumentative in regards to money and about what's your share, like I feel like there's someone that's trying to take your money or take their share and it's, you might cause a bit of an argument about that. And then we've also... You've also got for this month Mercury, which will be in your coming to your twelfth house. So you might find your negotiating skills might not be as better as maybe what they should or have been in the past. The twelfth house is a very hard thing, so you might find it harder to get out what you need to say. And that's actually going to be in retrograde until the thirteenth of the month. So try not to sign any contracts um, before then. Try and sign them after the thirteenth if possible. When I look at the, your cards for the month, it's about, I just feel like someone around you is doing a bit um, deceitful because it's like this card has got this eye, um, and I can see that there's an eye in the card, and I just heard I can see you. So I feel like there's someone maybe um, doing things behind your back and you can't see, but you're actually going to be able to see them or what time to catch them out and what they're doing around you. It's also a time of being free where you're, um, the situation has been dragging on for a long time and it's like finally you can release the chains and, and be, be a bit more free um, that's happening around you. And then we've got, um, we've got the Magician here, the Magician card. I feel like this card is about letting go, walking away. You can see there's a situation where you might be feeling green with envy. Um, or this also can indicate love um, with green as well. But it's time to put jealousy aside and to walk on to a new adventure for you as well. Let's look at the career money for you, Leo. I do feel like um, in terms of um, money, I just feel like a, you're in, like another side of these, but negotiating. It's about finding that fine, fine line of negotiating and making it um, work for you and making it be balanced. I also see in terms of work that it's like a rigor. It's about maybe returning to an old career or to something you used to do or, or going going back but this is going to be a good move because it's going to put you where you want to be for the future and I do see this whatever it is that you're going you're doing at the moment or you want to do there's a love for that I do see that Venus in this card there's a love of money so I do see that's being more favorable for you um, for this month it's about nurturing what's good for you and not what's good for everyone else around you in terms of relationships I do see um, for some of you, it's about, um, it's going to be tiring about relationships. It's almost like spilt milk uh, and there's no use crying over spilt milk, as that saying goes. Um, and it's time to look at what's not serving you and if it's not right, maybe walking away from that. I also see a lot of reflection on, on past relationships and, and what has happened and um, you know, where to go from here. And it might be about contacting them or time to let go or moving on. Um, but I also feel like it's like the web that you've built around yourself in, in a certain relationship. It hasn't been good for you, so it could be a time to restart, making something new, making some new adjustments in that relationship. In terms of um, talk around the home and family, I do see it's time to feel more stability, to be more stable at home. You need, I feel like there's, there's going to be um, a certain move coming up, maybe for you. Uh, there's just, a, you're not really feeling comfortable at home. You're not feeling comfortable where you sit. It's, it's like you're walking a bit on eggshells a little bit sometimes. And I do see that there could be um, a bit of emotional stuff going on, maybe with sisters and brothers that are, that are around you. But I do see the time of also peace and learning to, learning to be more understanding of others as well for you for this month. In terms of friends, I just see it could be a bit of hard work in terms of friendships for you. 
It's about um, trying to be in too involved with people in the situations they're in and just keeping to yourself on what, um, what you need to do and what you need to look for in your own life at the moment. Try not to be too involved in other people's lives for this month. Just be careful where you step this month, Leo, because I feel like the wrong step could, could also be your undoing for this month. Make sure you tread carefully, especially around complications, around relationships and um, certain friendships, because I feel like that they might not go as planned as you had once hoped, once had thought for. I do see the travel as in terms of planning. Maybe you want to come home, start navigating and putting those plans in place and how you're going to get home um, if you are overseas and start making those arrangements now um, before it gets too late. And I also see um, some of you, you might also need to get bias tested as well. Um, I also see problems for some of you might be with your heart. So I've also said that as well. So if you are in any complications, do get that checked if you do have anything. I'll leave it there for you, Leos. Thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and click on that notification bell. And goodbye now for now.